This would point to it originating from the core of an interstellar molecular cloud, where conditions for the formation of this material might exist. The sun's heat would cause the hydrogen to sublimate, which would in turn propel the body. The hydrogen coma formed by this process would be difficult to detect from Earth-based telescopes, as the atmosphere blocks those wavelengths. Regular water ice comets undergo this as well, however to a much lesser extent and with a visible coma. This may explain the significant non-gravitational acceleration that Oumuamua underwent without showing signs of coma formation. Significant mass loss caused by the sublimation would also explain the unusual cigar-like shape, comparable to how a bar of soap becomes more elongated as it is used up. It was later shown that hydrogen icebergs cannot form out of small grains and that, to not evaporate during their journey in interstellar space, they would had to be formed about 40 million years ago, in the close neighborhood of the solar system. The Initiative for Interstellar Studies launched Project Lyra to assess the feasibility of a mission to Oumuamua. Several options for sending a spacecraft to Oumuamua within a time frame of 5 to 25 years were suggested. Different mission durations and their velocity requirements were explored with respect to the launch date, assuming direct impulsive transfer to the intercept trajectory. Main article. Interstellar object hypothetical missions The space launch system would be even more capable. Such an interstellar precursor could easily pass by Oumuamua on its way out of the solar system, at speeds of 63 km per second. More advanced options of using solar, laser electric, and laser sail propulsion, based on breakthrough starshot technology, have also been considered. The challenge is to get to the interstellar object in a reasonable amount of time, and yet be able to gain useful scientific information. To do this, decelerating the spacecraft at Oumuamua would be highly desirable, due to the minimal science return from a hypervelocity encounter. If the investigative craft goes too fast, it would not be able to get into orbit or land on the object and would fly past it. The authors conclude that, although challenging, an encounter mission would be feasible using near-term technology. Seligman and Laughlin adopt a complementary approach to the Lyra study but also conclude that such missions, though challenging to mount, are both feasible and scientifically attractive. On the 26th of October 2018, Loeb and his postdoc Shemuel Bialy submitted a paper exploring the possibility of Oumuamua being an artificial thin solar sail accelerated by solar radiation pressure, in an effort to help explain the object's comet-like non-gravitational acceleration. Other scientists have stated that the available evidence is insufficient to consider such a premise, and that a tumbling solar sail would not be able to accelerate. In response, Loeb wrote an article detailing six anomalous properties of Oumuamua that make it unusual, unlike any comets or asteroids seen before. A subsequent report on observations by the Spitzer Space Telescope set a tight limit on cometary outgassing of any carbon-based molecules and indicated that Oumuamua is at least 10 times more shiny than a typical comet. The solar sail techno-signature hypothesis is considered unlikely by many experts owing to available simpler explanations that align with the expected characteristics of interstellar asteroids and comets.